Jackson Lee. Occasional show of her own, uh, but but uh, she she did retire from touring, and she's uh, she this this is the only show of our summer tour that Francine. Uh, <laughs> Francine, how, how has your life changed since you've uh, retired from touring? I, I sit on the couch and watch TV a lot. <laughs> no, I still drink a lot of wine, but everything else. <laughs> Well, we, we miss you out here on the road, but we are so grateful you could be here with us. I miss you all so much. Thank you. And, and, you, and you are doing the occasional show of your own, aren't you? I'm sorry? You are doing the occasional show of your own. You... Uh, yeah, and, and Phoenix, you gotta come down to the heat. Um, <laughs> first Sunday of every month at the Nash in downtown Phoenix, Arizona. Nice. Come on down, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Nash is the name of the place? The Nash, where, where part of the town is it? It's downtown. Um, First Street and Roosevelt. Oh yeah, I know Roosevelt. Yeah, you know where that is. <laughs> it's nice down there now, so. First Sunday, I'm gonna mark my calendar. <laughs> do that. We do some jazz and some blues, and we do some loud up it too. <laughs> we uh, uh, Francine uh, was only able to do a handful of uh, shows with us last summer, and. Uh, of course, Francine sang all over our latest recording. It was nice enough to help us get it kicked off. And we did uh, several shows in a row up in New York. And, and, uh, and Francine did our Austin City Limits episode with us last year. And, uh, you know, so many of the songs on, on this, uh, that, that latest record were inspired by my, my children, who are now six, uh, six-year-old twins. And thank you. I, you know, I, I, uh, I always thought I wanted to be a dad, uh, <laughs> but I, and I, I always imagined it being, you know, gratifying. And, uh, <laughs> you know, in that big life kind of way. But I, what I didn't anticipate, I mean, there have been so many things that I just couldn't have anticipated. But the, what, the, the biggest thing I didn't anticipate is just how much pure fun it is to sit on the floor with my children and just play with them. Uh, just the, the just the sheer joy of it uh, is something I never expected, and, uh, and I'm so great. I'm so grateful that that uh, before they were born, I didn't realize what I was missing. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I was I was struck from that very first day what individuals they were, and how, you know they 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 were born knowing things, and and uh, uh, you know and and I I was struck by how much of their survival was really up to them, you know, I mean, they, even that first day, I mean, they had to decide to eat. Uh, it was really, I mean, there's only so much you, you, you know, the rest of us can do. Uh, one of my favorite things to do when they were uh, little enough that uh, uh, they, uh, that I could still pick out their clothes was, uh, was to get them dressed for the day. And, and uh, the, this, this song came about one day when I was, uh, having a hard time getting a dress. They were, uh, they seemed to not think it was a good idea. And, uh, and I said, babies are strong. And then the more they, and then, and twins will gang up on you. <laughs> so they've got that worked out. And, uh, and so while I was, I was trying to keep them from, you know, falling on the floor and trying to get them dressed. And finally, I just gave up and I thought, you know, maybe they're right. Maybe, what, what is this? 
construct that we call clothing. <laughs> it's just a man-made, it's just made up. What, what, we could have it all wrong. Yeah. Now, who, who are we to tell these perfect people that God made, who are we to tell them what to do? <laughs> Don't 